Our next type of word problem is going to be an investment. So the problem reads as follows. We invest $15,000, one portion of it at 4.5% and the remainder at 6%. And if we earn $858 of interest, how much was invested at each rate? So the, the idea here is to figure out how much we put at each different rate. How much at 4.5%, how much at 6%. And the way you want to start is to represent in terms of x the amount you invest in each case. So let x equal the amount invested at 4.5%. And since the total amount invested was 15,000, the total minus x will be the amount invested at the next rate. So therefore, let 15,000 minus x, that's the remainder, equal the amount invested at 6%. All right, now we need an equation. The amount earned should equal what? All right, so the amount earned is equal to the first investment times 4.5% plus the second investment times 6%. All right, so now that's our equation. The amount that we earn in interest is the amount we invested at 4.5% times 4.5% plus the amount invested at 6% times 6%. That will give us the amount earned from our total investment. The amount we earn is 858, so 858 is equal to the first investment, which is X, that's the amount invest invested, times 4.5% plus the amount invested at 6%, which is 15,000 minus x times 6%. And now we're going to convert from percent to decimals. So here we have 858 is equal to 0.045x plus the quantity 15,000 minus x times 0.06. Okay, the next thing we want to do is get rid of the decimals. We want to have only whole numbers. To do that, we're going to multiply both sides by, it looks like, 1,000. All right, so multiply the left side by 1,000 and multiply the right side by 1,000. Okay, so now we have 858,000 is equal to 45x plus 15,000 minus x times, this times 1,000 will give me 60. All right, now we get rid of the parentheses. So we have 858,000 equals 45x plus 60 times this. Well, 6 times 15 is 90 and 4 zeros. So 9, 0, and 4 more zeros, 1, 2, 3, 4, that's 900,000 minus 60x. And finally, we're now ready to solve, start solving this for x. So we're going to move everything with an x to the left side, everything else to the right side. So that gives us a positive 60x minus 45x is equal to 900,000 minus 858,000. We're almost there. Okay, now we combine like terms. So we have 15x is equal to the difference between these two would be 42,000. Divide both sides by the coefficient in front of x. And let's see here, 42,000 divided by 15, 2,800. So it gives us x is equal to 2,800. Now we go back and see how we defined the variable x. x was the amount invested at 4.5%. That means we invested $2,800 at 4.5% and the remainder 15,000 minus 2,800, and let me put my dollar sign here, 2,800 equals, that would be $12,200 at 6%. And that's how we figured that out. Now, what you could do, if you want to make sure you did this correctly, we can then multiply 2,800 times 4.5% and 12,200 times 6% to make sure we get that right. So let me do that. So 2,800 times 0.045 plus, then we have 12,200 
times 0.06 equals, sure enough, 858. We did it correct. Those are the correct answers. And that's how we do that.